iPhone 5. Okay, so here's a quick revision video for calculating time intervals. So there will be three types of questions um, based on what information you have not been given in the question. I'll show you each one. So, Miss Payne started watching a film at 5.50. It was one and a half hours long. What time did the film finish? So, for every question, we need to know whether we have been given the start information, duration information, and end information. So let's look again at the question and unpick it. She started watching a film at 5.50. So yes, we have the start. It was one and a half hours long. What time did the film finish? So we know the duration is one and a half hours, but we don't know the end, the finish time. So let's put that onto our number line. Okay, here's the start time. 5.50. We don't know the end time. Now let's add on the duration and then we'll know the end time. So let's start by adding on the hours. Just one in this case, which makes 6.50. And then the minutes. Half an hour is 30 minutes. Okay, this is the bit where some people may get confused because they might do 6.50 plus 30 is 680, which we know can't be true because we can't have more than 59 in the minutes um, section. So let's try and do it in chunks. Let's go to the next hour, which would be seven. How many minutes is it from 650 to seven? 10. Now, how many more minutes do I need to add? It's going to be 30 minus the 10 we've already added, which is 20. So now 7 o'clock plus 20 minutes is 7.20. Okay, that's the answer to the question, what time did the film finish? If you want to check this, you can count backwards and see if you get to the same start time. The next type, see which information is missing. Miss Daunt went on holiday to America. The flight left at 3.20 p.m. and arrived at 9.40 p.m. How long was the flight? So we're looking to see which one of these is missing. Is it the start, duration or end? Now if we're talking about a flight, when it leaves is the start and arrives is the end. So we don't know the duration. Let's put those times onto the number line. 3.20 p.m., 9.40 p.m. Okay, now we'll start by adding the hours. We need to add any full hours that we can. So I can go all the way up to 9.20 here. I can't go to 10 because I, I can't go that far. I just have to go to the one before the final time, okay? So, from 3 to 9, I added 6 hours, okay? Now, the remaining minutes, so from 20 to 40, 20 minutes. So, the answer to this question, how long was the flight, is 6 hours, 20 minutes, okay? Now, I was saying to you that um, you add the full hours that you can, because sometimes um, the minutes in the start time will kind of be ahead of the minutes in the end time. So for example, let me change my color pen so you can see this. If, for example, the question was actually 3.40 to 9.20, I couldn't add six hours here. I couldn't go to the 9.40 because it's further than this. So I'd have to go to 8.40 and then go to that part there. I hope that makes sense. Okay, the last type, change back. Mrs. Garcia needed to cook a chicken. It would take one hour and 45 minutes to cook and needed to be ready for 5 p.m. What time did she need to put it in the oven? 
Okay, so let's unpick the question again. It would take one hour and 45 minutes to cook. That is the duration, it's the how long part. So I've got that one. Needed to be ready for 5 p.m. Ready for 5 p.m. That's what time she needs it to be finished. So that's the end time. What time did she need to put it in the oven? So that's the key because we're talking about cooking, that's the start. So we don't know the start time. So let's put the end time on, 5 p.m. We could also write it like this, or if we're using 24 hour time, like this. But I'm gonna probably go for this one, okay? Now, I'm going to count back the duration this time. So I'm gonna count back an hour, which takes me to four. Now I need to count back 45 minutes. Now it's hard to do zero minutes minus 45 minutes. That's where some children would get stuck. So let's change this to what it means. We know it's, it's like saying three hours and 60 minutes, okay? So now it's easier to take away the 45 minutes because we're going to 360 take away 45 here, 60 minus 45 is 15, and the hour is the same. We didn't go past that. So here, taking away 45 minutes takes me to 3, 15 um, p.m., I can say. Does that answer the question? What time did she need to put it in the oven? Yes, okay, now we know the start time. So remember, it's really important to read the question carefully. Try to imagine or picture or um, work out what the question is asking you to do. And remember, you will always have two of the three pieces of information. The start, okay, what time does it begin? What time does something go in? What time does the flight take off or leave? Um, the duration, look for words and phrases like how long, how long does it last, um, lasted for, and then the end time, the finish, um, yeah, the finish time, the end time, what time the plane lands, um, what time, I don't know, the food is ready, um, and you will know two out of those three, and the other one is the one you need to find. Sometimes you'll need to count forwards, sometimes you'll need to count back, um, but you'll need to really understand what the question is asking you to do. So in your maths books, please write your date, LO and third, don't forget. And answer the questions using a number line, please, unless you really don't need one, but try to, to use it to help you here. Um, when you've checked all your answers, by counting in the opposite way to the way you solve the problem. Uh, mark your work with green pen. Make your corrections, please, as you go along. And then when you've finished, you can take a photograph of your work and upload it to the maths folder on Seesaw. Thank you.